Good morning, everyone. This class is provided by CECA and the class is free of cost and there is no limitation on the classes you can attend. Uh, you can attend as many as classes you want and we run these classes from Monday till Friday uh, 10 to 12 and also on Sunday as well from 12, 12 onwards. So the students who sometime not available in the weekdays, they can also attend the class on weekend as well. And the link is uh, different for the weekend class. You can get the link on the Facebook page of the Sika, right? Under the uh, post which stated uh, weekend class for PT or the PTE class, right? And besides that, we do provide the Nati classes in different languages, which states with the Hindi, Punjabi, Nepalese, and Urdu language. And if you are after the any language, such languages, you can also attend the classes. Slots are available on the Facebook page and uh, the timings and everything is available out there. Also, we do have these services mentioned in the slide in front of you right now. And the number provided is the number where you can call for any query related to the said services. Like if you are after the overseas health cover, if you want to know any scholarship, if you're just providing any, uh, I mean, just changing any education provider or planning to get a new course of study, and also the migration counseling is free and also the free eligibility check for Canada is also done. Like if you want to assess those options as well. So you just need to call on this number and state there that you are a student of PT class and there you get the details and you can get your piece of advice. So it's 10, 10 guys. All right, we will be starting with the today's class. As I told you, it's going to be the topics where we left yesterday. So four things from the listening uh, we practiced yesterday and now we left with the another four which is SST, MCQ multiple and single and write from dictation. Uh, yeah, these are the ones which are left, we, we left with. So starting with the SST today because uh, it is the lengthy, uh, you can say lengthy item type in the whole listening because it takes 10 minutes. Here you will be listening to a recording and after that you have to write a 50 to 70 word summary, right? 50 to 70 word summary and never uh, misrepresent this one with the summarized written text where you are just writing one sentence and the word limit is 5 to 75. Here the word, uh, there is no nothing like you can only write one sentence. You can frame as many as the sentences provided that you being in the 50 to 70 word format, right? The score is imparted to the partial credit goes to the writing because you are writing and submitting your response. So that's how it will be checked for grammar, for punctuation, for spellings and the for the combi the word and tense combination, the grammar um, structure of the tenses. So everything is tested. That's how you will be getting writing score. And it actually it is having a lot, lot of potential for the writing uh, module as well. So this need to be taken. Uh, carefully practice carefully and uh, you will be having 10 minutes to write the summary after the audio big i mean after the audio ends your 10 minutes start at that very moment so and in that time if you're just looking at the notes you just thinking how i'm gonna start it and then you actually start typing and you're done with that and you wanna and, and wanna do any editing, you wanna proof check. So everything you are doing in those 10 minutes only. So never take like that 10 minutes are too much because ultimately um, when you are typing, actually it consumes six minutes when you are typing it only. So it's very important that you divide that time perfectly efficiently. That this is the time I'll be typing the answer. Then Two minutes I'll be keeping for editing and proofreading, right? So this is how you need to plan the things for you in these 10 minutes. And the minimum word count need to be 50. You must not write less than 50 words and you cannot write seven, uh, more than 70 words. Like after 70 words, I guess you won't be able to type. So, but yes, a word count will always be there on the screen. Like this will be the... Um, instruction for the question and uh, underneath that same blank box will be given where you are actually typing and in that blank box this hand side on the bottom let me add this to it anyway okay this hand side on the bottom 
there will be the word count total count that means if you have type 65 words the it will tell you 65 words and this hand side bottom side you will be having time how much time you have left like suppose you have left in nine minutes so nine then it will i mean uh, it count down the timer till zero from 10 to zero right so this is how it will be and as the instruction states your response will be judged on the quality of your writing so that's why it's important to take care of everything I told you for the writing part and how well your response present the main key points. So the lecture when you're hearing it, you actually need to note down the key points from that. There are two things you are doing in this. You are listening, you're taking notes. You cannot miss on taking notes because if you have not taken enough notes, you won't be able to frame a good summary out of the lecture you heard, right? Of course, it's going to be a bit lengthy lecture, not much, but yes, again, a bit lengthy. So you're not able to, uh, you know, remember all the details or the key points from the lecture without taking notes. So it's very important to take notes, right? And this is the template you will be using uh, because this I provide you guys. And if anyone wants to go after his own words, it's like more than welcome. But provided that you need to take care of the grammar formation, right? Like sometime. Even if you're using the same template, it won't affect your score as long as you're taking care of the grammar, spellings, and the uh, definitely the punctuation, right? Now, the first sentence stays here. The speaker was discussing about. So suppose whatever the topic is, like the speaker is discuss discussing about planets, planets in the universe in a sophisticated manner. So he, she, why? Because sometimes the speaker is male, female. So according to the gender, you need to select the pronoun. He primarily emphasized on like the sizes of the planet. Additionally, he not only highlighted the planets which are very far away from the sun, but also mentioned the near ones as well. The orator further stressed on the biggest planets being the say Jupiter. I don't know. I'm just, uh, uh, just imagining. Finally, it is concluded that the lecture provided cru crucial information about the uh, role of the planets in the universe. Right. So this is how this template will help you to frame the good summary, even if you're able to take few words from the lecture. But re remember that, like, if you are writing the key informations, right, you are getting points on the listening part. And how well you are presenting that, like the way of the, your writing style, that will give you mark in the writing part, like listening and writing. But uh, it's not like that, that uh, I don't know what is the main key idea. Now, how I'm going to frame this one. Whatever note you have taken, that obviously that need to be from the lecture itself. You should be picking up those data and fixing it in the blanks given, right? Some students, they just paste the only one word in all the blanks. It's fine. But till the time you're taking care that the sentence you have framed by putting up that one word maybe in the blank is giving a... Uh, proper meaning it's not like it is actually not imparting any meaning any correct meaning so ultimately this want to give you mark in the writing so this sentence stands uh, wrong in that part right take care of spellings always proofread look for the grammar have you used the grammar and if punctuation is needed punctuation means sometimes there is uh, the words which we need to capitalize like suppose i'm writing sun so S need to be capitalized, right? I'm writing the name of country, Australia. So A need to be capitalized. So this is like how the punctuation, the pronoun, the proper nouns where we put the first letter capital in the word. So those are the things where you need to take care of the capitalization, right? Punctuation, like this is the main punctuation mark. You actually need to use the full stop, the period. Right after every sentence you are ending, so you can see here also I have mentioned clearly the full stops because this is one you will be using the most. Right, and the first letter when you start typing the summary that need to be capital. Every sentence first letter need to be capital. These are very minute details. Like as we can see, these are very minute details, but actually these are giving you marks in the writing. And it can enhance your marks in the writing. So why not to uh, pay attention to these minute details? All right. So this is the uh, SST template. Like, like, like right now, I'm going to play a lecture. Right. Be ready with your notebooks and uh, pens. I'm just looking into some lecture.
and i'll be playing now the lecture you guys will be taking notes right and then with the help of after those notes you will be picking up and fixing the information in this template or maybe you can just write by uh, own, by your own words but remember that the word limit 50 to 70 i'll be giving you only 10 minutes to type and the grammar the spelling that also you need to take care and try to pick up the key information from the lecture so are you ready should i play this one tell yes. me guys yes all right all right so this is one i'm playing right now it will soon start let me fix this audio system okay. we're going to start chapter three today the chapter is on cave paintings who can tell us about cave paintings the drawings are mostly of animals. Correct. The animals are mostly bison, horses, and deer. The most common themes in cave paintings are large wild animals such as bison, horses, aurochs, and deer. Anthropologist Abby Bruhill interpreted the paintings as being hunting magic. That is to say, they were meant to increase the number of animals. Drawings of humans are rare. They're usually schematic rather than the more naturalistic animal subjects. Who can guess when cave painting started? Prehistoric times? Yes, the paintings were made during the Upper Paleolithic, about 40,000 years ago. Let me ask you another question. Who drew the paintings? Artists? Good answer, but who were the artists? What were their positions? Tribal leaders? Close, but incorrect. The artists were believed to be respected elders or shamans. The main colors of the paintings were limited to yellow, brown, charcoal, red, hematite, and manganese oxide. So that was the lecture. I hope you have taken notes for the same. So whatever note you have taken now, with the help of those notes, try to complete this template and frame a 50 to 70 word summary uh, always count the words if you are doing it on the computer or the phone you typing thing so take care how many words you are typing in there every word is like you need to count every word even don't miss on on in uh, these are also considered one word and if you want me to play this again just let me know Oh, okay, uh, Harshita, it's okay. Oh, Harshmita, sorry. You guys need to type it and send your answers to me. Harshita, this yes, ma'am, I didn't get you. Why you have typed in here? Okay, so she wants want me to play the lecture again. Anyone else want to listen to the lecture again?
guys anybody anyone else want to listen the lecture again Or yes ma'am oh that's really my mom just entered the class okay there are three okay so the student who are typing the uh, summary they can mute themselves because it will distract them and the one who want to listen this again i'm playing it once more and last time and uh, take the notes be ready to take the notes should i play it now say yes or no yes ma'am yes all right i'm playing it so the participant who don't want to listen it again just mute themselves we are going to start chapter 3 today the chapter is on cave paintings who can tell us about cave paintings the drawings are mostly of animals correct the animals are mostly bison horses and deer the most common themes in cave paintings are large wild animals such as bison horses aurochs and deer anthropologist abby bruill interpreted the paintings as being hunting magic that is to say they were meant to increase the number of animals drawings of humans are rare and are usually schematic rather than the more naturalistic animal subjects who can guess when cave painting started prehistoric times yes the paintings were made during the upper paleolithic about 40000 years ago let me ask you another question who drew the paintings artists good answer but who were the artists what were their positions tribal leaders close but incorrect the artists were believed to be respected elders or shamans the main colors of the paintings were limited to yellow brown charcoal red hematite and manganese oxide all right so this is done and uh, i guess already i have given 4 minutes to the participant 6 minutes left to you and uh, one who just listen it now it's 10 minutes for you from now onwards this lecture is not so difficult guys so don't take much longer this is having easy pronunciation clearly mentioned the main ideas and it's very clear and crisp sometimes the lectures they do have the intentional background noises and it become really difficult to concentrate on the main content but yeah this could be the case as well and sometimes the pronunciation the accent is completely uh i mean sometimes it's like not known to us or we not able to capture the word correctly some of them so it could be the case as well so we have to actually practice with different sort of accents rate of speech pronunciation styles right so that in the exam if any of those uh, we are hearing we able to capture the uh, words of phrases from that lecture and sometimes with the intentional background noises as well so i'm waiting for your responses right now be quick with them guys we do have three more item types to practice today okay one response kimberly
Okay, Kamala, your answer is almost correct. Just one mistake. It says my artist by artist. So typo error. But yeah, it will, can also happen in the exam as well. So proofread before sending. Don't send me the notes you have taken. Better type in. Okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, after that, no, that was for another person. Oh. Uh -huh. And after that, uh, you have written one thing here. Okay. Yeah, that's too there. All right. Got I, almost everything. But yeah, uh, uh, it just has one mistake that I told you already. And the word count is exact 69. Yes, 69 words. Okay, so have you typed in in the system or you count by yourself? No, I put it into Word and I counted the word from Microsoft Word. Yeah, that's okay then. That's okay then. Because uh, there actually the spaces are sometime also, I don't know if they are counted or something like that happened. All right, then it's fine. Till it's in range of the 70, even the exact 70 is fine. And in addition, there need to be a... Uh, uh, comma okay yeah yeah because uh, that's a connector you are using and now before the connect after the connectors a comma is need to be placed and otherwise this will go to the punctuation error all right rest all correct Okay, I'm, uh, I got your answer, Menu, but I mean, this is like you want me to fix in the blanks? Yes, ma'am. Uh, just uh, filling them. Yes, filling the blanks. That some, that you, template you gave us in that. I count it's almost 51 words. 51? Yes. So there is a spelling mistake with the word horses. Oh, yes, ma'am. And uh, based on, I guess this is not the spelling for the same. Yes, I hear maybe first time. It's but by, it. Yeah, it's Bison, B I S O N. B I S O N, okay. Yeah. And uh, emphasize drawn. Color limit like yellow, brown, and mag oxide. Okay, so it's like, I won't say it's a nice response. I will made you hear the, uh, the response I'm getting here so that you can get the idea how we can write it, right? But yeah, this is your first time, I believe. So try to take more keynotes from the lecture. And okay. while taking the notes, use different strategies. Like uh, if you're not able to type the things, of course, I mean, uh, write the things quickly. So write the short form of the words. Right. If you know this is about painting, rather than writing the full word painting, leave it to PAI. You know that this lecture is about the painting, right? Okay. So this is like how this is how you can abbreviate view uh, words here. Now I know horse, deer, right? If you just write H O R in the note, D he in the, why you got that? This is what I have written, right? Okay. So whatever word you can abbreviate it, just abbreviate them you need to actually make it happen because usually it happens when we take notes we just write the whole word and we just waste our time over there in that time one more sentence the speaker just say and we miss that sentence you see oh. this is how it is and sometimes use the uh, um, in the sign language so sign language is like if something is like um, increasing decreasing left right so if any word you can positive negative you can quote with the symbol assign then use that right but yeah for this you have to actually uh, you know uh, uh, bring them into your practice only then you will be able to take notes in that way right so that's how you will increase the note taking uh, phrases or the words all right and the somya All right, the first sentence is good.
how many words are these somya i have used to defend as i am preparing this from two weeks is it all right if i use this and repeat it okay 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 uh for it, it they should not be around right they should be exact but um, the template it doesn't have any issue right so main topic of the lecture it's salient aspect as uh, aspects the word need to be aspects because you are giving many options out there so if there is one particular thing as salient aspect then maybe aspect only then furthermore the key like concerned with consist of consists of however the humans raised also emphasized on artists which is 40,000 years ago all right okay so there is no issue with the template so you can use it yeah but just take care of the grammar so as per the singular plural the grammar tends to change right the sentences are fine and the way you have used the punctuation mark it is also good right so the word but yes so the word you need to be pretty sure about how many words ashmita it is not about cape you know darling i learned to play hunting magic and so Yeah, then the naturalistic painting, different colors while paintings. Okay, Ashmita, you got. I mean, if if I say the total uh, key points are six, you got four. Not bad. Honey, your answer. I got that. Painting and naturalistic painting. Paintings. speaker was discussing about paintings but better if you can say what kind of paintings they dis he discussing so he basically discussing cave paintings okay additionally he not only highlighted on the most common paintings that are of large wild animals you have to complete this sentence not only and but also like if you say he not first of all you missed on word only there he not highlighted if you just giving not only you have to write but also as well in the sentence these are i just forgot what grammatically say them but they often they can come together in a sentence like neither nor or either right so that's how not only but also same uh, as as so these are the uh, words they come together in the sentences so you have to write he not only highlighted on most common painting that of that of that are of large wild animals but also emphasized on uh, whatever i mean notes maybe you have taken maybe you can write but also mention about the human paintings which are more systematic but rare right mm -hmm. then you don't need to write this sentence asking the question about because that act actually uh, it's not the main detail or something like that so if you adding that detail you can miss on that but maybe you have not taken that not so that's why maybe about the painting and limited colors to painting the picture of animals okay fine rest is fine honey shiza Yes, this is right, Shiza. It's good. And uh, okay, ma'am. Okay, Soumya. Okay, you missed it. Actually, I just said it's good. Uh, the template is fine. Uh, there is no issue. But when it is singular and plural things you are mentioning, according to that, the words tend to change. It sometimes it becomes consist, right? 
as the as you are just adding the uh, many things in the sentence so consists of so it just like that and um, you know that's thing you have to just see other than that template wise no issue right okay. and everything you have written out there is fine and the punctuation marks that was also good i told you template is no issue till the time the grammar is good okay okay and you are in the board mode and yes you said 65 to 70 but they need to be exactly uh you need to know exact board count 65. either 65 or 66 whatever so you are knowing that i am in between 50 to 70 lok the speaker was discussing about the ancient paintings he primarily emphasized on key paintings of wild animal additional speaker only in specific colors like red brown and yellow but also had the fact that those paintings were made by respected elderly people around 40000 years ago right ago in conclusion the lecture for crucial information about prehistoric paintings this is nice look uh, crisp and clear but yes in the first word if you write the cave paintings it better explain the key word so actually the subject of the lecture so that's the all answers i got okay let's hear one more lecture and then we will be moving to the next item type for today so be ready now with your notebook or wherever you taking notes let me see what we are hearing now okay uh, should i play it now yes should i play it now guys yes ma'am yes, ma all right i'm playing it okay in the last class we talked about the classification of trees and we ended up with a basic description of angiosperms you remember that those are plants with true flowers and seeds that develop inside fruits The common broadleaf trees we have on campus fall into this category, but our pines don't. Now, I hope you all followed my advice and wore comfortable shoes, because as I said, today we're going to do a little field study. To get started, let me describe a couple of the broadleaf trees we have in front of us. I'm sure you've all noticed this big tree next to Brant Hall. It's a black walnut that must be 80 feet tall. As a matter of fact, There's a plaque identifying it as the tallest black walnut in the state. And from here, we can see the beautiful archway of trees at the common. They're American elms. The ones along the commons were planted when the college was founded 120 years ago. They have the distinctive dark green leaves that look lopsided because the two sides of the leaf are unequal. I want you to notice the elm right outside Jackson Hall. Some of its leaves have withered and turned yellow, maybe due to Dutch elm disease. Only a few branches seem affected so far, but if this tree is sick, it'll have to be cut down. Well, let's move on and I'll describe what we see as we go. Is that good with everyone or you want me to play this again? Okay I'm taking this is good with you 10:42 Okay ma'am Yeah 10:42 and 10 minutes 10:52 All right, so deep, no worries, no worries. I'll be just giving your feedback on it. Let other complete the next one. You also do the next one. Whatever you can do, right? Don't take a lot of stress.
past 45 3 minutes 4 minutes past 6 6 left Okay, just got the answer like uh, so this lecture was about what it's forty eight. Four minutes left. And the student who just joined in, we are doing the summarized spoken text. Students are typing in their answers, so that's why uh, there is a silence right now. So just wait another four minutes then we will be talking about the answers of them right and so deep so deep you will do a lot of typing errors typo errors so don't do that Okay, Kimberly, and the time you have taken is three minutes less in a sophisticated manner. Yes, this is right. So better you can uh, write whatever you have quoted up in the second sentence in the first only. So they're discussing about this and the second thing, the subject you mentioned in the second sentence, that you need to take up in the first, first sentence. Okay. Yeah. Plants and flowers and fruits. That's what they said because I just heard that and I just wrote that, you know, like, yeah. But you, actually, this is the thing. We have to read the sentence after writing it. So okay. I guess the plants word is not suitable here. Okay, yeah. Because plant trees with plants, you see, trees with yeah, flowers yeah. and fruits. Flowers and fruits that's, yeah, fine. Yeah, sure. that's fine. There they mentioned two trees specifically. So have you missed those points? Black walnut, but the other one I didn't get the spelling and I didn't want to just uh, write something that uh, was not a tree name like to get a typo error mm -hmm. all right, right so if i say as i can see in the answer there are i mean one two three four five six seven eight 
two, three, four, and almost five E notes, right? Mm. So you got first two, but yeah, that I mean the first two sentences they should be one only, right? Class, and I'll be just saying it later, right? And you mentioned the subject that need to be there, right? And then maybe the second, third sentence comes, and then. uh the the trees you have mentioned with the uh, in the fourth i mean the sentence where you have there are some other so that maybe you can add a name there i will tell you what name you can add there okay let me okay. read the other response i would say this is fine as per whatever notes you have taken but actually this is not covering everything up right but yeah many of it if i'll say out of 6 it's covering 3 and honey your answer Class and into many problems and trees are around the campus. Okay, this is fine. This is a clever way to write the response, but uh, it got only two. two things two two three things from the key notes but yes i would say this is clever what to still complete the answer i'll but i definitely i'll tell you the real answer after i read the responses shiza uh, or after honey it's sorry ashmita yes do you got the word Yeah, that word is there. This is what I'm looking after, but it doesn't need to have an the second line, the word you have mentioned with the high uh, capitalized. It doesn't need to have a capitalized letter, right? In my second sentence, ma'am. Yeah, second. Sorry, second sentence. Okay, 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 ma'am. I thought it's classification of some no, scientific no, no, no. name. That's why. Yeah. Okay. yeah it's not okay it's not word a l p s it's some other word what i'll tell yes, you what word i was is. not sure that yeah i got that other yeah. all right this is nice you got almost four word four notes four four and half sort of right this is nice but yeah mistakes yes. are there i'll tell you what i mean only one or two mistakes Shiza, uh, traditionally, okay. So it's like. Uh, you got the words just one point is not there almost every other point is there how many words these are shiza shiza uh, i didn't count it ma'am i will yeah it is like just count the words because okay they need to be under 70 you covered the points yeah they are they are not in the sequence but yes they are there except only one okay right? ma'am All right. Anybody else typing the response can send it right now. I know this seems a lot of work when I say type the response and send, but guys, this is the only way you will be practicing this module. You actually have to type it in the practice sessions because that's how you actually doing it in the exam. not writing the whole thing won't make your fingers move faster on the keyboard on the test day typing these words again and again will increase your speed of typing as well decrease the typo errors as well and let you know and to think uh, promptly what i can write here because you already practicing in the same way so that's why it's important to type and send the answers All right. If anybody is sending, just let me know. Or okay, one more. It's from Log about the during fails. Yeah, this is nice. This is one I'm wanting. This covered the two points mentioned. 
in the first sentence. Okay. Okay. So this is nice. Um, we can add one one more thing here, like um, and other than that, I find your response nice. Look, your response is good. All right, anybody else typing, or is the is these are all? Okay, I guess all. All right, so the listen to the response here. This is lecture, or this is lecture. Uh, is this lecture is about the classification of trees and introduction of a field study this lecture is about the classification of trees and introduction of the field study so <clears throat> i'll be just saying the keynotes in the lecture and then you can better decide how you can uh, fix them up by using template as referred the common broadleaf trees are angiosperms which have flowers and seeds the the broadleaf trees are angiosperms which have flowers and seeds today the first tree is the tallest black walnut in the state falling at the commons are the at the commons are the american elms e l m s ashmita that's not elms elms e l m s so remember this name american elms sometime you hear it you will easily get it whose leaves are lopsided l o p s i d e d lopsided some of their leaves have withered due to diseases and the tree would have to be cut down so as i told you shiza you got the points they are just not in the sequence as there but yes everything is there um, and kimberly you can now better relate your answer to the response right and um, lok you can also see like it's it's talking the same thing but yeah in a more simpler language you have put it up but that's okay yeah but yeah few things still missing so everyone get the answer and they can now you guys can analyze the answer as well right okay. right ma'am yes ma'am okay. ma'am so, we have to skip like uh, if you, we are not sure of when you were and and he so said so actually the like, thing is uh, you can uh, skip but you can maybe clever around that some you can maybe if you're not sure that that word is uh, elms or elves so maybe you mm -hmm. can just write uh, some sort of american type of so maybe you can be okay. clever there rather than writing the wrong word you just mold the sentence right american type of so i'm not sure the word i just write type of sort of right so these approximate words you can use there right? so that you you are not making any spelling errors right okay ma'am thank okay. you so can i can we move to the next item type now or you want to hear more lecture next or this one next <laughs> <laughs> all right so the next is going to be um uh, okay let me stop it and share the okay so this is the sst so next we will now practice the mcqs single and multiple and after that we just uh, left with the right from dictation from the listening right so first mcq multiple answer so after listening to recording as we did in the reading but there we got an uh, text with the uh, in on the screen but here there will be only question and options on the screen and the answer from where we are finding our answer from the audio we are hearing right so it's very important to you see the concentration is the key in the listening item types right more than one response is correct when it is mcq and uh, the skill it, it is only uh, assessed is listening and problem the recording will be 40 to 90 second this is how the screen will be right and remember that here you will be negatively marked for any wrong answer right so maybe you feel like second and third is the option 
but third is wrong second is right so second you will get one but for third you will be getting a minus one so it will bring back your score to again into negatives so be wise and just mark the option you're very sure about maybe one it's okay maybe two it's okay but don't mark anything you're not sure about right and uh, as i told you when it is mcq how to take notes or how to take the key or key notes this is from the option itself so when it is the preparation time you just obviously reading the question understanding what i want to uh, do here then go to the option and take the keywords from the option just concentrate on the keywords in the option so that when you hearing the lecture and any word in the lecture strikes there you can quickly come to the option and analyze it with that whether it is to be taken into the answer or to be eliminated so this will help you to uh, quickly come to the option when if you have taken the keyword when you are hearing same a like word or something related meaning uh, um, meaning of the word same like word you are hearing that a paraphrasing of that you can easily come down to that option and then assess it whether it is the option it is the same thing or it is the opposite thing so if it's a opposite thing you are eliminating it there and then only right and uh, you will be having 7 second to read the options and the question and to understand the key points there shortlist while listening right so this is you know, you have to do it because when you are listening you just got that third option they talking about the same thing like older older area something they just talking about the same thing go to that option just analyze there and then only so just shortlist while you are listening only note down the key points if you feel like i'm not pretty sure what i can do right now i i cannot assess it whether to be eliminated or to be taken into uh, as the answer so quickly take a note for that write quickly a note for that option they have said this thing all right then after you can better an uh, analysis after the recording is finished but try to shortlist while you are listening finalize the option only in the end like when you done listening look all the option correlate the memory it's just 40 second recording so very quick right and consider all the option before submitting the answer just look give once once a while give go to the every option mentioned there see if it's uh, in the lecture as same then it's an answer oppose it not mention not an answer right and then submit your answer only all right so now we will be doing few question related to mcq multiple answer and single answer just like this single answer you have to concentrate more on the question so because we will be doing this together so this is the single answer here you are selecting only one response so remember that that i'm selecting one response in the single there is no negative marking because you won't be able to select two options so here the focus need to be given on the question itself the question itself what it is asking you to find is it asking you for the main idea so that is the question like what was the main cause of company's collapse or you listening for supporting information or detail like what aspect of fast transfer policy does the speaker mention or listening for an inference down by the drawn by the speaker what does the speaker suggest that the factory may have to do and it is listening for the speaker purpose you see idea and purpose different why does the speaker talk about the fall in car ownership right so just understand what is the question what it asking me to find keeping in mind listen to the uh, audio right and then better you can come down to the right answer so this is the thing you need to do in this single answer never read text in the beginning so it's like i mean this is not like never read uh, i suggest if you got time so always go with the question and uh, read it understand the question and if you get time because the time is very less it's 7 second only if you get time then go through the options if you're not getting time it's okay keep the question in mind keep listening and then meanwhile look into the option while you are listening and try to shortlist there and then right find and validate of course don't confuse almost with the whole now this is very common trick they use in the mcq like an option says 90% of people like coffee right and an option says that all people like coffee now 
it's like 90 percent it can it cannot be 100 percent and all is always 100 percent like if there are 10 students in the class so 10 like coffee but 90 percent means nine like coffee so there is a difference in the statement so don't confuse almost with the whole this is the common trick they use in the uh, mcqs right so just keep in mind this thing don't base a decision on your personal judgment. Sometimes the topics, they feel very familiar to us, but don't use your own judgment. Always go after what you are hearing in the recording and validate the options only what is there in the recording, not on your personal journal knowledge or any information you have related to the topic. Keep an eye on the timer. That means MCQs, the recording finish as soon as the recording finish you are just taking few seconds to mark your answer this is the time you're actually spending on the mcqs right don't just match words so sometimes yeah this is the one you did in the question uh, in the reading yesterday so if you're just matching word here ultimately that's a trap so normally the answer will be paraphrased if i'm saying uh the this is the best so it is um so maybe the recording says uh, this is the one thing which absolutely correct right so the best and absolutely correct sort of same thing so always the answers you will be getting they will be paraphrased so don't look for the matching of the words okay i'm hearing this word in the recording is there in the option so maybe they're just making you confuse and just dragging you to do, to choose the wrong option so it's a kind of trap as well right so this is about mcq multiple and single answer now I'm just showing you a few questions and playing the recording along. Just bear with me. Two minutes. Just two minutes. Okay. Yeah. Here it is. So first we will be doing multiple answer. So that means you are selecting more than one response. Give me uh, two minutes, yeah. So there will be an exam two to three question. The same pattern we are gonna follow here. Two to three question we will be doing. Okay, well, then let me find the audio for the same. Just a second. All right, so let me share this one. Okay, so this is the question number one here. Which of the following, if you want me to increase the font size, I can do that. So it got five options, right? And I'm just playing it. Just give me a second. You read it, understand it. And I'm looking into the audio for same. Okay, so can I play it? Are you ready guys? yes ma'am yeah ready all right i'm playing it it will start playing now only which of the following conditions need to be met by payment payments who want to have their children educated at home that's why parents decide to educate their children at home either they dislike schools on principle however odd those principles might be or they don't believe their local schools provide an adequate education or the right sort of education for their children. If someone decides to teach their child at home, either by themselves or by employing a teacher, they have to convince their local education authority, LEA, that the teaching provided is satisfactory. Schedules, lesson plans and book lists must be shown and it must also be demonstrated that the child is in fact learning and that they have adequate opportunities for physical education and meeting other children. Furthermore, 
While there is no formal assessment, officers from the LEA will come and inspect what is being done and look at the child's exercise books. If they are not satisfied, they make out a school attendance order. The answers. Okay. Very quick with the answers. Let's see. Uh, Honey, two marks. Shiza, two marks. Kimberly, two marks. And Minu, uh, first one is right, second is wrong. So minus one. Ruby. Uh, Ruby, this is first and last is right, but the I mean, two marks for that, but it makes minus one, so one mark. And Swamya minus one because the first is right, second is wrong. Sukhdeep, one mark. Ashmita, minus one. Raman, minus one because the later option is right, first is wrong. Sukhdeep, no, this is not right. Now it's minus two. Komal, uh, first option is right, but second is wrong, so minus one. Okay, so the answer... All right, one more. Look, yeah, first right, second wrong, minus one. So just mark what you're sure about. And here the answer is A and D. A, where they say they must provide lesson plans, right? So the D option, they must provide book list. So these are the two things which are mentioned in the lecture as the conditions need to be met by parents. So this is the question. Conditions need to be met by parents. So first is to uh, provide lesson plan and provide book list. So A and D. So if you're sure about one option, just mark one. And if you're sure about the two, then only yes, you can mark the two one. And let's see the next question now. now. And, uh, okay, this one is fine. Okay, the second question on the screen. Take a look around it. Starting in two seconds. Which of the following statement is true of Rose's belief in the social contract? You may not know much, if anything, about Jean-Jacques Rousseau, but you have probably heard the well-known quote, man is born free and everywhere he is in chains. In his early work, Rousseau argued that mankind was happiest and at its best in a state of nature, that is, before the creation of society and civilization. He saw society as artificial and corrupt and that good people were corrupted by it. The Social Contract is perhaps the most enduring and well-known of his books, covering pretty well every aspect of man in society. However, in this book, his attitude to the condition of man in a state of nature changes. In such conditions, man is brutish and competitive by nature, and there is no law or morality. Therefore, because it is easier to survive by joining forces with others, people form societies to better fight anything that might endanger their situation. Rousseau's political philosophy has had a profound influence on later thinkers, even though, or perhaps especially because, it is open to many interpretations. But political philosophy is not everybody's cup of tea. In his own time, Rousseau was a bestseller with novels such as The New Eloise and especially Emile, though even the latter is not free of his constant desire to improve society. 
It illustrates his ideas about the best form of education, which involves educating a child's emotions before their reason. This too had a profound influence on educational theorists. Okay, so answers. Here it goes. Okay, then who said the answer first? Okay, Kimberly. Uh, this is wrong. Minus one. No, minus two, Ruby. And Sudeep. Now minus two, Komal, minus two, honey, two minus one. It's, uh, I mean, one minus two. So it makes your score two minus one, yeah, minus one. Because two are wrong. Swamya, one mark. Minu, minus two, Ashmita. Minus one, later option is right. Raman, one mark. Shiza, minus one. Anybody sending answer? Which of the following statement is true for Russo believes in the social contract. The right, okay. Lok. First is right, later two are wrong. So it's two negative, one positive. A option is right here. With Stan, men form societies to better cope with dangers in life. And then the D option, let me see. Yeah, D option. By forming societies, law and morality comes into, come into force. These are the two answers. And uh, if you want me to play this again, I can do that. The C option you marked like it is there, but they are said true of Russo beliefs, right? But it is like early work, he argued that. He argued that he and then they said he saw society as artificial and corrupt and that good people were corrupted by it. So actually, if you complete these sentences, then it is not right. Far happened to the C option you have given me and the E option children emotion should be educated before their intellect. Some also mentioned this one children emotion. This is I guess in the later part of the lecture and they say though even the latter is not free of his constant desire to improve society it illustrate his ideas about the best form of education which involve educating child's emotion before their reason. This too had a profound influence in education, educational theorist. And children emotion should be educated before their intellect. So it is, it is not there. It is not there. It's just saying the in before their intellect and they said before their reason and there is before and after line which are actually saying some other things. So A and D, bit difficult and bit lengthy lecture. A and D is the option here, right? So let's do one 
okay more question but yeah not of the multiple choice now we will be doing the single answer so single answer where you are concentrating on the question first looking what's there in the question and then marking your answer okay what will the more man probably do next this is going to be okay look at the screen what will man probably do next what will be the man probably do next is the question options are there this is single answer not multiple single answer so just concentrate on this line when you hearing this thing in the lecture that's where you have to play pay concentration so audio beginning in 3 seconds hello may i help you yes i hope so my name is harry burke i got a message from someone in this office saying i still needed to pay a lab fee let me check harry burke Oh yes, the computer shows that you haven't paid the lab fee for your biology class. You'll need to do this before you can attend your lab section. I didn't know there was a lab fee. I don't remember seeing it on my bill. Did you register after September 15th? Uh, I think so. The fee probably didn't show up on your bill because you registered late. I'm afraid you'll have to pay it at the cashier's office. Okay, I better take care of it right away. Thanks for letting me know. Now this is quick. What will be the man probably now do next? Yeah, Swami and Lok. This is right. Ruby, Honey, Shiza, Siddhi, right. Harshita wrong. Ashmita wrong. Minu right. Okay, guys, it clearly says, "I am afraid you will have to pay to cashier office." okay i better take care of it right away letting me know so this is like this is single answer komal only one answer harshita raman it's right okay. so basically the answer will be what will be doing he'll be now going to the cashier office because he asked now where it need to be paid so this is like c option very quick and easy let's do one more Okay, it says what is the man's problem? Here it is. The next question. Um, what is the answer of previous question? My network can go to cashier to my office. Network. See. Okay. Go to cashier office. because he has to pay something and she said that maybe you have you'll have to pay it to the cashier office so he said that i'll better take it take care of about it right away then of course he is going to what he is going to do he is going to the cashier office okay. the next on the screen what's the man problem beginning in 2 seconds okay i'm giving you 3 seconds read it Okay, playing it. I can't believe how much my books cost this semester. I just spent over one hundred dollars in the university bookstore for only four books, and I still need the book for chemistry. That one costs fifty-five dollars. It's a little more than my budget can handle at the moment. Science books are always out of sight. But did you know there's another bookstore in the Pioneer District? They carry used copies of most of the textbooks for the university. I wonder if they have my chemistry book. I need the third edition. I found all of my books there. You can sell any kind of book too, not just textbooks. That's not a bad idea. Where did you say that was again? Number. Answer. 
What's the man problem? Okay. Who have sent the answer for this one? Last answer was from... Okay, Harshita. Soumya. Soumya. Yeah, the answer is right. One mark. Honey, zero. And Lok, zero. Ruby, Shiza, zero. Komal, zero. Meenu, zero. Ashmita, uh, Ashmita. One mark, Subdeep, one mark. What's the man problem? Honey, one mark. Lok, yeah, one mark. Guys, it's very clear. He said that I can't believe how much my boss got this master ID spent over $100 in the university bookstore. Only four bucks and I still need the book for chemistry. When cost $55 is a little more than the budget can handle at the moment. Science books are always out of sight. So what's the man problem? And but did you know there's another bookstore in the pointer district copies of most of the textbook for the university i wonder if they have any chemistry book on, on in the third edition i found all my books there you can sell any kind of book do not textbooks but not a bad idea can you say that once again yeah you see so basically the university bookstore doesn't have a book he needs that's not the man's problem because there is another uh, bookstore where you can get the copies of the textbook so that's that makes a answer to be eliminated the man on the problem is the budget the books that he needs are a strain on his finance so C is the answer here i hope you get this all right let's do one more be really quick with this one we got pretty good time today Okay, it says, what do plant hormones do? See it here, read it. Okay, playing it. Listen to a lecture in a botany class. The professor is talking about plant hormones. The word hormone is derived from a Greek verb that means to excite. Hormones are found in all multicellular organisms and function to coordinate the parts of the organism. A hormone is a chemical signal. It's produced by one part of the body and is then transported to other parts of the body where it triggers responses in cells and tissues. The concept of chemical messengers in plants first emerged from a series of classic experiments on how plant stems respond to light. Think about this. A house plant on a windowsill grows toward light. If you rotate the plant, it will soon reorient its growth until its leaves again face the window. The growth of a plant toward light is called phototropism in a forest or other natural ecosystem where plants may be crowded phototropism directs growing seedlings toward the sunlight that powers photosynthesis some of the earliest experiments on phototropism were conducted in the late 19th century by charles darwin and his son francis the darwins observed that a grass seedling could bend toward light only if the tip of the shoot was present if the tip was removed the shoot would not curve toward light. 
the seedling would also fail to grow toward light if the tip was covered with an opaque cap. The Darwins proposed the hypothesis that some signal was transmitted downward from the tip into the part of the stem that controlled growth. Later experiments by other scientists studying phototropism led to the discovery of chemical messengers that stimulated growth in the stem. These chemical messengers were hormones. Okay, answer. What do plant hormones do? Ashmita, Shriza, Soumya, Sukhdeep, Ruby, Lok, Raman, Meenu. Okay, so everyone answer is correct. Uh, Komal, no, this is not right. Zero. The answer is C here. Stimulate response in cells and tissue that's the answer stimulate response in responses in cells and tissue c option all right let me just paste one mcq which was there in the exam with the multiple choice answers not the single one give me a second yeah I'm showing it to you right now. Just a moment. This is the question on the screen right now. It got five options. Which of these tips about doing a good translation does the speaker mention? Five options. It is MCQ. Here you have to select more than one response and it was there in the exam. Let's see how many of you get this one. Just a moment. I'm playing the audio. You can read the question meanwhile. I'm playing the audio for the same. Okay, it will begin in five seconds. MCQ, multiple answer. So today I'm going to talk about the key things you need to remember when you go out into the world as translators. The first thing is to be choosy about what commissions you accept. It's not advisable to agree to do every job you're offered, even if you're in need of work. You should refuse to do something if you don't know anything about the topic as it would be impossible for you to produce a good piece of writing. And it could be serious. A mistranslation that's going to be used for medical or legal purposes could have disastrous consequences. Having decided you can reasonably take on a commission, if you have the slightest doubt about what something means, then consult a dictionary or someone whose mother tongue is the language you're translating from. It's much better to devote a bit of time and effort to checking something than to risk making a potentially serious error. I guess the answer is really easy here. Yeah, that's two marks, Ashmita, so two marks. Lok minus one. Ruby minus two. I mean, uh, two are wrong. One is right. Two minus minus two plus one plus minus minus. It's one. One mark. Minu minus one. Komal minus one. Subdeep minus one. Honey minus one. Guys, that was very clear. I don't know how I didn't you get it. 
Anybody else send the reply? I'm mine answer, Shiva. I said that, I guess, Shiva, you sent first. Uh, let me go back. When you send the answer, Shiza, can you send that again? Okay. I couldn't see your answer. Uh, Raman, no. Oh, Raman, yeah, one mark. One mark, Shiza. Okay, guys, here it was very clear. Yeah, two marks. Which of these tips about doing a good translation does the speaker mention? First, she said, do not translate text unless you are familiar with the subject. Sometimes that are used for the legal purposes and they can create a disaster uh, actions, right? So it was D option. Then what you can do if you're not sure of the meaning of something, she said, maybe you can consult a dictionary or ask whose language who's having the mother language uh any person who is having that as a mother tongue so mother tongue native speaker so ask a native speaker if you're not sure of the meaning of something so it stands b and d as the right option right so these are the two options these are the tips doing a good translation about right that the speaker mentioned this was there in the exam as well okay so that was the mcq now we will be doing the right from dictation important and the last item type of the entire test why important there will be four to five questions right and uh, you know that every word give you one mark score is given to the writing as well so it makes them the important question of the test right you have you are listening to a recording and then you have to type that sentence you just heard. So here you will be hearing one complete sentence from seven to 15 words long. And the score will be given to listening and writing. Partial credit goes to writing. The problem, the sentence will be three to five seconds long only. So as soon as you stop hearing, the recording st uh, stops, you need to start typing instantly. Remember that the first letter when you're starting the sentence, letter, first letter of the word need to be capital and there need to be a full stop at the end of the sentence. This counts for your punctuation marks, right? If any words is proper noun, then again, if any commas are to be used, hyphen to be used, those again goes to punctuation mark. Second, spellings you need to take care of. Sometimes you get four or five words from the sentence and forget the other. Then use your own grammar knowledge to frame that sentence. You have the meaning of the sentence, so try and frame that sentence by putting the words you remember exactly from the sentence you heard. So right, it will make you uh, give close answer, as close answer as possible as the sentence you heard. Be ready to type or write. So if you're taking notes, be quickly type the sentence on the erasable notepad, write, and then quickly transfer that into the uh, box given but yes some students they listen and quickly start typing because that's the way they say we remember it more easily right never fall behind the audio so it's not that after the recording finishes only then you are start typing right so i say when you start when the recording start start taking the notes on the risible notepad quickly meanwhile write the sentence along right and if you are a good typer then quickly start typing the sentence along. This way you will be able to capture more and more words from the uh, recording, but don't fall behind the audio means. If you're writing a word and that's a long word and the, obviously the speaker will be really quick. So just leave that word there. Don't write the same full spelling for the same, just write a hint there and move with the audio. So move with the audio is very important, right? Capture the meaning. So if you're remembering three, four words from a sentence, but you have the meaning of the sentence still by using those three, four word in the right sequence, add the meaning and complete the sentence, right? Review in the end to see for the grammatical errors, spelling errors, punctuation errors, sentence formation. So always check everything. Connect logically 
So as I told you, if you got two, three words from the eight words, so try to connect the dots logically by having the meaning, visual memory you have. So that's all going to uh, help you, right? So now I'm making you hear a few sentences and you will be sending your answer typed in here in the chat box, right? That's how you will be sending your responses to me. So I'll be just making you hear a few sentences. So this is the first I'll be playing. Now, this is an important question, guys. Remember that you will be getting uh, uh, one mark for every word you are typing right, uh, provided that the spellings are correct. And it, it is the word from the recording itself. So maybe you're listening 10 words. So the potential of one question is 10 marks. And the partial credit goes to the, uh, your, um, of course, your writing as well. So just a second. Yeah, this is the first I'm playing. Be ready to listen. It is playing now. His appointment to economic culture minister was seen as a demotion. His appointment to economic culture minister was seen as a demotion. The first two words are right, Soumya. Uh, and the word you mentioned at the fifth place is right and sixth is right. And then um, eighth, eighth, ninth is right. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven words right. Out of 11. Sukhdeep, you got one, two, three words right out of 11. Honey, you got one, two, three words right out of 11. No, yeah, right. And uh, Minu, you got one, two, uh, three words right out of 11 one word komal the two word you mentioned okay so this one i'm playing again his appointment to economic culture minister was seen as a demotion Hey, this is the answer here. His appointment to economic cultural minister was seemed as a demotion. Sorry, it's not cultural, cultural, economic culture minister. Right? 
so this is, these are the words you can better relate your answer to the words so it is like 11 words so out of 11 how many words are right for you that's your score out of 11 3 4 5 whatever words you are getting okay let's hear the next one Now, the opening hours of the library is reducing during the summer. Okay, I'm just reading your answers. I'm typing the right one so that I can send it to you. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 words again. And, um, okay. So, am I all correct? Komal, you have to put the first letter capital and full stop at the end. If you're not following that, you will be losing mark on writing. Lok, yeah, all correct. Ashmita. Uh, yeah, few missing. Honey, right. Raman. One, two words missing. Same goes to mean when library spelling is wrong. Komal. All right. Shiza. So many of you just for this simple word like the is sort of. And yeah, Sukhdeep, but yeah, majority you get the words, but not exactly. Some get exactly right. This is the answer. The opening hours of the library is reducing during the summer. All right. So you can check and relate your answers. Okay. This is the next one beginning in five seconds. They developed a unique approach to training their employees. okay type i'm typing along with you guys and you guys are slow typo look the words are there but not all it got one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight nine words so out of nine words, two words, three words are four and five. Okay, so it's like four or five words are there. Exact. Komal, uh, it's just one word. I mean, two words are there, but one word which is exactly same in the sentence. Ashmita. One word missing only. 
and Soumya. One word you changed. Honey, one word is bit different. And one word you changed. Sukhdeep, uh, two words are same. Raman, all right. One word you bit changed it. And uh, one you entirely changed. And uh, one extra word is there. And Minu, this is right. But yeah, there is one mistake. And I mean, two mistake. Oh no, three. I mean, three words which need to be in other form. Okay, so here goes the answer. She's also, your answer is right. They developed a unique approach to training their employees. So training their, that means training their employees. I'm just playing the audio again so that you can relate the words to the um sound they developed a unique approach to training their employees they developed a unique approach to training their employees right okay let's hear the next one it will start in seven seconds the shipwreck of this year ruined some artifacts which were interested in historians You want me to play it again? It's a lengthy one. Yes, ma'am. Okay. The shipwreck of this year ruined some artifacts which were interested in historians. The secret of the audio is so interesting. The later part is right. Uh, look. And Soumya. Guys, whatever word you are typing, if you hear the sound of the word and you know the word, try to type the word at least in the right spellings. Because mis messing the spelling, losing the mark. Okay, so the answers are very detroited sort of. So this goes the answer here actually. The shipwreck of this year ruined some artifact which were interested in historian. The shipwreck of this year ruined some artifacts which were interested in historians. So if you feel like this sentence is lengthy and I mean you're not able to type that directly. So what is more important that you are just taking notes for the maybe first half 
or maybe second half as we discuss generally in the class try to take notes for the first or the later half as per your memory so some they're able to i mean i am a person who can uh, remember the later part more clearly there are people who can remember the first half of the sentence more clearly so it's important that you taking note for such sentences okay let's listen this one seven second you got It's beginning now. Those seeking formal extension should contact their faculty for information. Well, uh, you are your answer is much similar, but yeah, few mistakes still there. And uh, Minu, uh, four words you typed in, and that's right. Samya, one extra word. Rest is fine. it is not the same anybody typing should I send the answer answer those seeking formal extension should contact their faculty for information listen those seeking formal extension should contact their faculty for information Okay, when I typed in, I just forgot this word extension, but yeah, rest I typed in. So it's okay if you just miss one or two words. Yeah, but remember that the more content you are typing from the sentence, the more marks you will be getting. So try to capture more and more words correct. Okay, last one as we got two minutes, so quick one. So seven seconds, it's beginning in. Now, the blue whale is the largest mammal ever lived. This is easy. Very good, Soma. It's all correct. So we did around five sentences. This is how it will be in exam. Yes, Shiza is right. Lok, right. Okay, you added extra word Lok and uh, honey, you as well. Ashmita, it's right, but yeah, the blue whale, I mean, the word, they are different. I mean, they are not one word. Here goes the answer. The blue whale is the largest mammal ever lived. Right, listen again. The blue whale is the largest mammal ever lived. Whale, W-H-A-L-E, whale. Right, so this is all about the listening item types. We covered every item from the listening till now. Anybody wants to get added into the WhatsApp group, um, you can uh, 
yeah send me your number here i'll take a note of it and add you there and guys remember this classes we run every day monday to friday free of the cost and yes nati as well every other class for ielts is provided two to four spread the word to others so that they can also take benefit and tomorrow is going to be speaking day all the speaking item type we try to cover tomorrow right and um, i think i'll be getting some uh, if fresh exam memories as well by tomorrow so i'll try to share those as well if i get that right so that's how it is and this is provided by ceca guys so like the facebook page of ceca as well and do consult them for the services you are after like for the migration age and migration counseling and you can get all the devices regarding the pr pathways and everything and this consultations are not we are not charging anything right now that's those are free of the cost right okay there are three numbers i got i need to quickly take a screenshot of the numbers because they will lost as soon as i end the meeting and guys i'll be adding you not i mean not straight way i mean i'll just be adding you by 12 right anything you want to ask or is is all good yes it's all good right all right so that's yes, all for today yeah see you tomorrow guys with the speaking item times and the student joining us uh here as the new one uh do participate in the answer so that you get to know what is your what is your answer what are the mistakes and how you can avoid them extra word will affect the score like uh, like as i told you you can use your sense and frame the sentence so the words which will be there in the sentence you will be getting mark but provided that the sequence matter right but yeah any word written uh, and there is no negative marking for that but yes you will only getting mark for the right words and exactly in the right sequence that mean if they have written to the so to the need to be together in the sentence it is not like to is somewhere in the beginning and the is somewhere in the end but still you getting number so that sequence all matters all that's what i told you if you remember three words try to frame in the exact sequence by adding your grammar knowledge and the meaning of the sentence and complete it right so this is like sometimes we get you know if i say the screen is right now the screen is in black color with lot of names on the left hand side suppose right now you have this meaning with you if you try to frame the same sentence so somehow you will be closer to the real sequence of the word in the sentence that's what it means right so try to just be as near as to the meaning so that you are just typing the words in the right sequence as well so that's more important and that's how you are getting marks right all right okay. so i mean yeah thank you yeah, i see you all right so, so may okay me no okay okay thank you thank you all right guys so bye take care have a safe day ahead bye, bye, <laughs> okay.